a kid, against all odds, successfully separated from the 15 other satellites that were lost in space while being carried by Indian Space Research Organization's PSLV C-62 as part of the mission called EOS N-1, which lifted off from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. The 44.4-meter-tall, four-stage rocket lifted off on schedule at 10.18 a.m. on Monday from the spaceport in Sri Harikota. The mission aimed to deploy a primary Earth observation satellite along with multiple co-passenger satellites into a 512-kilometer sun-synchronous orbit after a flight of about 17 minutes. The automatic launch sequence proceeded following approval from the mission director. ISRO scientists shared real-time updates as the vehicle ascended, with the initial flight phases unfolding as planned. The situation changed at the mission control center after the announcement that the third stage ignited. In the second consecutive setback for ISRO's PSLV, 15 of the 16 satellites, including a foreign Earth observation payload, failed to reach the intended orbit after the carrier rocket experienced an anomaly in the critical third stage of the launch. ISRO Chairman V. Narayanan said that disturbances in the rocket and a deviation from its flight path were observed during the third stage when the strap-on motors provided thrust and he added that a detailed analysis has been initiated to determine the cause. And the performance of the vehicle close to the third stage was as expected and as predicted. And in the, close to the end of the third stage, you are seeing some disturbance in the vehicle. And uh, there was a deviation in the path of the vehicle. And uh, the mission could not proceed in the expected path. That is what is the information right now available. Now we are going, going through the data and we have to get the data from all the ground stations and once the data analysis is completed, we shall come back to you. While ISRO sources reported that all 16 satellites were lost, KID, or Kestrel Initial Technology Demonstrator from a Spanish startup and a small-scale prototype of a re-entry vehicle, apparently defied the odds. The Spanish startup Orbital Paradigm confirmed that its KID capsule managed to separate from PSLV C62, switch on and transmit data, despite the failure that affected the other satellites. The company said it is reconstructing the capsule's trajectory and will release a full report later. Among the satellites lost were DRDO's Anvesha, designed to detect military camouflage from nearly 500 kilometers, Ayulsat, India's first in-orbit fueling satellite, and CGUSAT, a student-built LEO satellite for emergency communication and disaster management. The primary Earth observation satellite was a joint project between Thailand and the UK. A previous PSLV attempt in May 2025 had also failed due to a motor pressure issue, according to sources. A former senior ISRO official noted that it will take time for the agency to analyze data, identify the cause, and make corrections, adding that the lost satellites may now be drifting as space debris. ISRO confirmed that an anomaly occurred in the third stage of PSLV C-62 and said a detailed analysis is underway. ISRO chief V. Narayanan told reporters that the mission did not follow the intended flight path and updates will be shared once all data has been examined. <laughs>